Hello guys, right, today's a short little video about um, fixing the brakes, or the brake pass squeaky brakes, um, on the City Coco scooter. It's, for some reason the brakes are starting to squeak like mad. Um, I've got an expert with me in the name of Tony Bowles, uh, uh, a company called TD Bowles Plant Repair. So Tom, um, do you feel quite capable that you'd be able to do that for us or I think we felt quite 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 confident Oracle will we be able to fix the brakes I'm pleased to be able to report that now that you've got TD bowls with you no problem if you'd have been doing it on your own surefire failure That's what a fucking liberty first off guys these two bolts here 10, 10 mil 10 mil spanner and we're going to undo and take the bracket or take the... God, that's tight. Yeah, always have something. Oh. Always have something. So what you can see guys here, these brake pads are held in. Is the brake pads are held in by two Allen keys. Allen key bolts. And you take them out. So always have a tray to Always put. have some lovely blue gloves on. Yep. When you're doing something like this. Yeah. And you'll see, we'll show you the dirt and the dust that collects. It must come off of the off of the brake disc. At the pads, sorry. Yeah, so these are the pads. Now we've done that, these you just push it from underneath. Yeah, these and are the brake pads easy. come out like that. Now be careful here, seriously, do not drop them in the mud. Get the yeah, don't drop them in the mud. These brake at all brake pads are getting a little bit glazed here. And they're getting a little bit glazed, so yeah. and plenty of life left in them. Plenty uh, of life. And what, what would we do to get rid of the glaze in time? We well, just use a piece of uh, emery paper. A bit of emery paper. Just to deglaze them up. Get rid of the wasp. Get rid of the wasp. Who obviously feels like very he's interested in us. He's very interested in the. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So just, what we're going to do is we're just, just actually deglaze, deglazing the pads yeah. because they would have been rubbing for a while. Yeah. And they've on the up. on the brake disc yeah. and making them shiny and glaze up. So what we do is we just. Enabling yeah. the surface again without trying to get any dirt on Clean all your rubbable surfaces up. Not right, perfect. now as you can see, this is quite dirty. So what we're going to have to do is clean this, this is first the, and foremost. This, but is, this the, is the actual caliper slider, slider which we're going to clean up. So we're going to clean this whole area up with water and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, and then we're going to re, we're yeah. going to put some silicon spray we're inside. Just, we're just going to put that back together for a second and then yeah. we're going to clean, the whole, clean the whole thing up. What you can see guys, we've got a toothbrush bottle of spray which is just water and um, washing up liquid and what we're going to do is we're going to clean the whole brake caliper by squirting it like this all over and making sure that we get rid of all the dust and, the grime. Dust and grime and stuff like that so So make sure that's all nice and clean, guys. Yeah. We'll get some, uh, get a cloth and make sure it's nice and dry. So what we we'll do is we we'll spray sliders. some silicon we have spray some, on we have some, oh, we, we have some copper slit. What we've got there, guys, we've got a couple of things. We've got um, WD-40. WD-40 specialist yeah. silicon Silic spray, which we're gonna spray inside of the... Well, we'll actually spray the copper slip in there, actually. We'll spray the copper slip in there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, we won't use that. Yeah. Cut! Just what we're going to use, guys, we're going to use a three-in-one <laughs> anti-seize <laughs> copper grease. It's a lubricant, anti-seize, blah, 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 for use on metal parts. So we're going to we're going to spray that in here. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit, just yeah, to make on, sure that... That's like it. that. That's like it. that. Bit on those. On these. Yeah, on those. That's it, you got it. You got it. That's like that. It. That's it. That's just to... Keep it nice and nice and lubricated, lubricated so it moves Make in and sure. out quite freely. Yeah, don't go don't go overboard on it. But don't go overboard. Enough so that piston slides in and out, so it retracts like that. Right. And then what we'll do is we'll just put a little bit on the pads. Not on the back of the pads. Yeah. No. Now, that you guys, gonna, this is very very important. Do not get it on. Do the back. not. Do not get any of this stuff. Oh. on those brake pads so yeah. what we're gonna do is just put it on the back slightly just, just a little bit like that's, that i've always gone mad i've gone mad on it that's all right that's um, all right that's but all it's, right. it's really this is the just to help it stop squeaking that's all right do not get it on the surfaces don't get it on the surfaces of these pads because that means you won't break yeah i'm gonna give a 
shake down. Okay. <laughs> you see, from zero to loads. Yeah. <laughs> zero well, to loads. Well, it's a spray, isn't it? So. That'll be fine. Oh, don't do that. Yeah, don't get copper slip. So what we've done there is we've got copper slip. Now we're going to clean that all off, aren't we? Yeah, we are. With this. No, no. No, we're not going to clean it off with that. Hang on. <clears throat> No, this is all this is all what you shouldn't do. So what we're gonna do is put it Tone, right. Tony's gone mad. I've gone mad with a copper slip. In fact, it's all over Tony's fingers, and what's happening is he's making a right mess. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's take his bloody gloves off. Yeah. I can't work in these gloves. Yeah, don't wear gloves because it because <laughs> it goes everywhere. Why don't we rub it again with the old uh, yeah, we will. we will. So we're going to remove the grease. Remove the copper remove slip, the copper that, shouldn't. slip that shouldn't be on the pads. Yes. But when you're on tour, when you're you on can't tour. do a lot about it, Tom, can you? you no. just got to... Yeah, we are making the best of everything. Making the best of uh, what we've got. Yes. So, so deglaze and get rid of the copper slip again. Yeah, normally, just... normally we just bung another set of pads in if we were at home. Because yeah. they are peanuts, they are pennies. Are they? Yeah, there won't be there won't be no money for one of these. So uh, but at this time and motion we are let's come and clip from there, there you go. Right. So you can tell that that was the way the pad went because of the circle there that the piston and that has goes made. in the piston bit. So yeah. we will put that back in the same direction. Like that. And click that in there like that. Put that in there like that. And then we'll put these in here put the bolts back in so as you can see guys it doesn't take too long no. um you only need we've only been about five minutes and uh, a few basic tools a few basic tools allen keys do not touch the brake lever until you've put it back on otherwise you'll push the piston out and then you'll be in a world hurt then yeah so just to re re uh, re, re, to re, yeah. re just to repeat that um don't push the brake in until you put it back together. Until you put the thing back together. We line the two bolts up again, in there like that. Yeah, these will have a torque setting, but we right. have no, but we have no torque setting thing with us, no. do we? we so no torque wrench with us. No torque wrench. That's it. So make sure. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the brake. Yeah. Yeah. It seems to be. Seems to be working fine. Look. Right then. That's uh, that was the brake thing done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it for a quick drive, and I'm going to give it to the. Um, I'm going to give it to she who knows everything, and let her film it whilst I go and crash. Uh, I mean, drive the bike. Back. City Copper Man. What's the verdict, Tony? I think they're perfect. That was lucky then. <laughs> they're perfect. Don't they work a trick. So that's how you do it. All joking aside, that's how you do it. And they work a treat. Thank you very much. I hope that's been useful. You never know, you might need to do it, and uh, and if you do, that's exactly how you do it to some degree. Thank you, and I hope that's all right. Yeah, and if you need any any help, or we can help in any way, just send a message and we'll, uh, we'll try and help out as much as we possibly can. And you'll probably get an answer from Tony Bowles uh, for TD Bowles Plant Repair, Limited, Waterlooville. Thank you.